Hello and welcome back to UMA301. So, um, in this episode, we're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting. Any of those of you who've moved ahead and tried to bring this into Unity will have discovered two rather weird problems. Um, now, I've only really started learning to use Blender uh, in the past few months, mostly for this course, um, and I've fallen in love with it. It's really powerful. It's really quite easy once you get used to some of the weird layout of this interface but this is the most heartbreaking thing about it and that is that the exporters aren't particularly stable okay um it's not the end of the world there are ways around it but the fact that it doesn't work out of the box can put you off um don't be put off we're going to fix it but let's have a look at what happens if i try and use this in unity in its current state so here we are in Unity, and all I've done here, I've brought my blend file into the project, just like I have before. Um, so I'm going to drag this in to the scene, and let's just spin that round 180 so we can see our character. Now, straight away, there's two things you'll notice. If we look at the head, you should see some very strange normal behavior going on here. Um, in fact, we've got several areas with flipped normals, which is awful okay so that hasn't come in correctly and um if we have a look down at the feet uh, these are being twisted these last bones are being twisted um it's obvious on the right leg it's not so obvious but it is still happening on that left leg but i've hunted and hunted and i cannot see why at all however i do know how to fix it um now we could in unity we can mess around with the import settings we can get it to calculate these normals for us but that kind of defeats the object um, the more stuff we're having to work around in Unity uh, the more chance there is of something going wrong or us forgetting to do it so I want to get the output from Blender to be correct and unfortunately if you are suffering from problems like this that means we can no longer use blend files in Unity um, and this is because uh, when Unity requests conversion of that blend file it uses blender's default fbx exporter which is what the problem is here okay so that blend file i'm going to remove him from my scene and throw that in the bin bye we're never going to use that again okay so let's head back over into blender and fix these problems okay our first problem uh, we're going to solve by switching exporters so if we head over and say export FBX, so what you should see here on the left is uh, the export settings. Um, now this 7.4 binary is the default um, exporter for Blender. Now this I believe is what's causing our problems. So uh, what we're going to do is switch to the older 6.1 version okay um, this we can't re-import back into blender it does have its own issues um, the scaling factor here has no effect so we do have a problem when we go into unity however everything else works just fine um, so the couple of things that we are going to change here we're going to change um, our forward value to z forward okay um, and down here we can select what we want to actually export personally um, I don't want lamps I don't want cameras in fact I'm going to shift select everything away apart from the armature and the mesh just to keep it nice and simple and really that's it that should work so I'm going to export that into my unity project lovely and let's have a look at what we've got here we are right so if I drop that into my scene um, actually I've still got the old one in there let's just remove that and drop that back in it doesn't appear right okay and this is that scaling issue you can see for some reason no matter what I do I will always get this hundred times smaller scale so we're just going to switch that off and hit apply and force unity to re-import that at scale factor one and straight away there we are you can see how my normals are absolutely fine everything's in working order wonderful apart from these feet ah. right so first problem solved using our ASCII exporter from 
uh, blender will solve our normal problem if we head back over there what we can do if I go to export again I can save this as a preset so I'm going to add a preset and I'm going to, up, and I'm going to call this Uma export and that will save all of these different settings I put in there okay brilliant so we now have our own preset which we can select from here so let's cancel that and have a look at this foot problem right then so let's start by selecting our armature and going into edit mode um, and also in the armature properties let's turn x-ray on so we can actually see what's going on now what we need to do is remove these two bones here these are the ones that are causing the problem um, I've tried everything uh, fixing them and I just cannot work out why they do this so if we simply add some new bones and remove them the same way we looked at making our adjust bones that will fix the issue so let's head down this hierarchy um, down the right leg and it's this right toe base bone that we want to uh, replace basically so let's go down and say add a single bone and this will create a bone in the root um, I want to parent that to the right foot so I'm going to make sure it's selected I'm going to shift select the right foot into the screen and press Control P to select the parent now previously we said keep offset which keeps the bone in the same position I don't want to do that I'm going to say connected and that will snap our bone to the end of the foot bone so when I hit that you can see we've now been moved to the right place um, I'm going to make this bone fit a little bit better by moving the tail so um, I'm going to head over to the bone properties right uh, now be careful here I still have both bones selected so I need to make sure I'm only working on this bone here um, and I'm going to change the Y value to minus 0.15 just to move it out a little and pull that Z value down so it's on a level so 0 0.004 so it matches the head and what you should see there it's inside the existing bone but that will be absolutely fine so you can see the, the tail of it just there right um, let's change this bone name to right toe good now if we go into our body clean mesh and let's look at the mesh properties and if we go for this right toe base to remap it to our new bone we simply have to change that to right toe job done um, let's do it to the original body mesh as well so if we go up here right toe base and double click and change that to right toe brilliant so if we head back into the armature still in edit mode we can now delete that right toe base so right click uh, and that doesn't work need to move into the screen and hit delete and delete that bone so a new bone should now have taken over so we can prove that let's go into pause mode select that bone rotate it and you can see we now have that controlling the toes okay so let's do the same on the other side so again back into edit mode let's close up that right leg and follow down the left leg okay let's add a brand new bone there it is and with that bone we'll parent it to the left foot so select the bone shift select the left foot into the screen control P and connected okay make sure I only have the bone selected and let's fiddle about with its properties so again let's put this minus 0.15 in here and 0.004 in Z there we go you can see the tail just inside there rename it to left toe looks good and again for both of these meshes the body and the body clean let's change the mesh property find the left toe base and change that to left toe that's that one let's do the other one left toe base to left toe okay back into the armature 
uh, let's select our old bone, the left toe base, and delete it from the rig. Whew. Done. <laughs> right. So let's export that back into Unity and see what happens. So here we are importing, and that should update our model. And there we go. So that's removed that twisting. The bones are still there. If we have a look through here, let's follow these down, find that right foot. That was the most problematic one. And you can see that right toe. Um, I can still rotate. It all works as it should now. So there we go. A couple of really irritating problems that we have. Um, you won't always have them, but I have found that with these fuse models, they do occur. Uh, if not, go ahead, use those blend files, but you now know how to get around those problems, and we can continue turning this into our UMA race. So hopefully you found that useful, and I will see you in the next episode. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.